I have a Kia Rio uh, hatchback car and I needed to carry some lumber uh, from Lowe's that uh, would not fit inside the car. So I took my old bicycle uh, rack that I used to uh, carry a couple of bicycles and cut it down so that uh, it was a lot shorter and mounted it to the uh, trailer hitch as it usually does and then I went about uh, adding uh, some steel tubing and the tubing here the large one inch tubing it, you can find it at Lowe's in the uh, cyclone fence area it comes in 10 foot long uh, pieces it uh, and then the smaller tubing is just uh, half inch conduit tubing that you can get at the uh, electrical area at Lowe's so I built this frame up which extends the uh, out the back uh, it's about uh, uh, six foot long I put these cross members on so I could carry some plywood if I needed to uh, it attaches down here to a couple of bolts that I put through the uh, back bumper and it attaches up here and supports uh, the load the key attachment is right in here. I'll show you that. This turnbuckle here is uh, the thing that strengthens the whole assembly and tightens it to the car. As you can see, you can uh, put it on and it hooks right into the to the uh, uh, hook that the trunk uh, comes down and closes on and it uh, tightens up the whole assembly uh, so that when you put the load on it doesn't droop the uh, whole thing can be folded up and put inside my car uh, to go to Lowe's but uh, if you don't have a hatchback then you probably should assemble it and it'll just stick out the back uh, when you're going down the highway. This is uh, what it looks like when I'm going down the road. On this particular load I had uh, uh, three eight-foot two-by-fours and two ten-foot metal conduits that I needed to get home. I have carried uh, four by eight sheets of plywood and four eight foot two by sixes, no problem. And it cruises down the road at 50, 55 mile an hour. And I'm able to go and pick up my lumber and uh, bring it home. And uh, so far, nobody has stopped me. So I put the red flag out the back and uh, the license plate is still visible underneath. Uh, if you're coming up from the rear of it and the tail lights are still uh, visible so they, everybody can see your brake lights and see your turn signals so that's the way you can carry uh, some lumber in, in with your compact car